Hello everyone, my name is Karim Abushusha. I'm an environmental artist, a lighting artist, and welcome to 20 Minute Learning. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get started in one of the biggest software for texturing, it's Substand Designer. I uh, you know a lot of artists are very scared and afraid from, from Substance, but today I will show you the secret how to get started easily in Substance Designer. So let's talk about Substance Designer first. Substance Designer, to, it's made for to create EPR material. And what is the difference, or what is its meaning? So when you have, when you need to create any texture or material for your model or your scene, you try to find the material in online, <coughs> in uh, textures.com or other uh, websites. But the problem is this texture it is not raw, so this texture it's it's already took by by photographer. So there is environment and lighting and channel and a lot of things. It don't make the the image raw. So and the other thing it's the resolution. It's it's very difficult to get a, a higher resolution of material with a normal map, high map and and displacement and online or you have to buy but with substance designer you can create your material easily and the big thing in substance designer after you done your sub your material you can export it and you can export with parameter and then you can control of your material on any other software and the last thing is the material it's exported the size of material it's between one mega or two mega maximum so you have not to <coughs> to to create a lot of material or uh, or download a lot of texture just create your own material like this and then export it and it's ready to use in any piece of software so please don't scare from interface i will not show you the interface i will get started directly in substance designer so first thing i will go open a file new substance and I will select it here, PBR Metallic Roughness, okay? And please care about this option. You have to select relative to parent, not this. And here you can select your resolution. So it's, it's by default, you can start it with 2K. It's paired to start it with 2K. And here format, it's two relative to parent, okay? And then, for example, I will write, uh, floor material okay and press okay so when you open your material you will come with this and the new version it's made it's already made it with with this parameter but if you have all old version you have to create your own uh, there is some output and i will show you what is the output meaning so let's remove all of this Okay, so here the node, if you press in, uh, in the mouse, in the middle mouse, you can move your viewport here. This is a node, okay? And this, this node, it's called output. So this is all of output, your material. So we need to connect it with input to create our material. So I will start to press space if you press spacing keyboard and write normal so please don't ask why i add this this just do it okay so i will connect it from here to normal and go here if you're working with the unity you have to select opengl or <coughs> and if you are working with uh, 3d max uh, 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 unreal engine or other software you can you have to select DirectX. So I will make this 10, okay. And I will press space again, and I will add ambient occlusion too. I need to connect my ambient occlusion with the input ambient occlusion. And the quality, I will make it 16, okay. And now I need to, to create the node, it's, it's called, invert grayscale because I need to, to to make only one node to connect all of input here to that my output here okay so I will connect it with ambient occlusion but 
double click on this and then make invert false okay and then i will connect it with normal map and the high too okay this is my high map and my material is ready but now you don't see any change so i will press space again and i will select uniform color okay from uniform color if you go here you have you see the parameter specific parameter so i will change it to grayscale and make something like that and connect it with base color and roughness so the idea of what if you know if you change your roughness to black you will get 100 percent roughness if you change your color to white you'll get with no roughness okay so you can create one node for base color to make your own color or you can connect it together and i will keep metallic for now because i will not use any metallic at this time okay after you are done with this you have to right click and then fee view output in 3d to active this ambient occlusion and the other parameters okay so now your material you your scene is ready to use and now let's let's do some magic if you go here you can change your cube to one of this so i am always prefer to use plain high rays okay or you can select slender or rounded cube here or Round it slender, so select anyone, but I will select now blend high res. Okay, so let's start to create a shape. If you go here in, in picture, you can find a lot of material. So let's start with something floor, something basic like this. So if you if you ask yourself how the mat the material is made it from square right so let's start with the shape we started with there is a rules to create substance designer material to start from big i will show you here let's add frame big okay and mid middle and small okay so this is a secret to create substance designer material you have to 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 start with the big shape or the base shape and then you can start with them with the middle a detail and then you can add smaller details like if you if you work with the zbrush it's the same thing you you start with the base mesh and then you you add more details and then smaller details or the micro details okay so let's remove this and start directly with the shape so if i press space and i will type here tile you can find tile generator tile, tile random tile assembler so before we start you have to know substance design is working with the gray scale or black and white everything with white will push up and everything with black will, will push down so if you have any material something like that so you can find here the grass it's have to push down and this this tune you have to push up okay so how we do that if we start with tile assembler and i'm always start with my tile assembler you can find here parameter it's here is the amount and here is the other secret you have to start you have to not to add all of these numbers you have to start with something like eight maximum or six because if you work with higher number you will lose resolution but if you start with with number like this and then in the in you can create your parameter its styles for example i will add safe transform this is styles and connected with my tiles i will i will not lose any uh, resolution so try to, to to start with the big shape and then with styles you can add your tiles later okay so i will connect my tile assembler 
with this. As you, as you can see here, the shape is visible, okay? But if you see here, there is no displacement or any something showing. So to show my, my, uh, my displacement, here it's called tessellation. I will go material and then default and then here, physical tessellation, okay? And from tessellation, I will make tessellation factor 16 and scale, I will change the scale. You can get this measure. It's, it's already push up, right? Up, right, okay. So now we will change some these <coughs> some parameters here. So I will start with six by six. It's okay. And scale. If you scale, you you can control of each part of this. So let's start with okay. This is, it's fine with me. Okay. And if you want to make deformation or random. If you if you make something like that, you can change your scale random or size random. You can do something like that. Or if you want to to control of scale, for for example, it's horizontal. You zero point five or like this. So you have all of this control. Don't skip from this parameter. It's very easy. If you just look at this, you can find it's very easy. So here position, if you change position random, you can get some randomized. So you can create your uh, smaller stone or something like that. If you change the offset here to 0 0.5, you can get break, like break, right? So if I change the scale here, okay, you can get like pricks, okay? Or you can get something like that. Here, prick shape. It's not difficult, just create your own shape like the real image, okay? And here, rotation, you can control of your number of your rotation. You can make something like that, or something like that. So, and here, mask random, you can remove, randomize, uh, randomized shape, okay? And from color random, it's very important now. If I change my color random, you can get some deformation of your colors. So, you will find here, if, when we change it, color random, you can see here some breaks push up and some breaks push push down. So because we change the colors, and this is the main idea. So you have to work and play with the color creation. Okay. So I will keep like this to make some variation. Okay. Five. Okay. So if we we'll go. Here, sometimes you can find the break is not sharpness. If you go here, you can find this, this edge is a very sharpness. So to change here, I will press, I will press here and press space and I will type bevel. Okay. You know bevel, if you work with, uh, with any 3D software, you can know what is the bevel is mean. Okay. So I will make the bevel zero. And then I will start to something like that, okay? And from smoothing, you can smooth your edge. Here now, you can get very nice edges. If we change this to this, you can get very different change, okay? So now, my shape is ready to work, okay? So... If you start with this and I need to add background, right? Like floor or like uh, some dirt or, or some stones. So to do that, I will drag this here, okay? And then I will press space and I will type fill fluid. And what does the fill fluid meaning? If you don't care about this, I will show you, 
I will show you later, okay? And press fill to gradient, okay? So here I will get some variation angle from black and white because I need to make some edges push down to get something like this to make the floors push up or to make these edges, okay? So here you can use a lot of time you have to use something it's called blend and this is the, the big secret in, in the substance designer it's a blend everything you have to blend together everything you have to blend together okay so i will let's remove this okay and i will select it this line and press space and i will type blend okay if you go to blend, you can you can find here background and foreground. Okay, so if I connect it here together, you can you can get some variation shape. So from blending mode, you can change from subtract, multiply. So let's just start with multiply, and I will control the amount with opacity. So let's make. 0.5 okay and if you want to change the color variation here you have something like level i know the the many of artists you know what is the level meaning so to to connect it with level and then you can control of your black or white amount okay to get lower variation okay you can make something like that okay but let's keep this by default okay and now let's create the floor so here if you finish with your base shape you can select it, all of your nodes and then right click add frame and i will write here this mesh okay i will back to layer and then i will start to add cloud okay the cloud it's as you see here if we connect it with this you can find what is the cloud meaning it's give you some variation like floor but i need to add some nodes with the cloud so i will blend my cloud to cloud uh, not cloud fractal sum okay so i will change it here to multiply and then make 0 0.5 and i can add another plane and then i can connect it with dirt dirt one okay and change it to multiply and make opacity like this okay if i'm done with with this part okay i can now connect it with something it's called high map high map this is a node it will be connected with with what will push up and what will push to push down okay so it's a high plane now i want to say it's a bottom you see here it's bottom i need to connect it with my floor and the top it's my base shape okay and let's change here the high offset and see what will happen now here's the magic <laughs> right when we change the high offset you can get some high variation as a real life so now you can get easily your base your base material okay so if you want to done with this and say wow it's awesome i i did it i need to start with with the, the color i will not show you now the color but in the next video we can see how how the color is working and don't worry it's very easy too so here you can get some variation like this okay 
but let's make some change on this surface. So there is not real to to leave your shape like this. We have to add some some dirt, some noise, some, or a lot of stuff on my shape. Okay, so. We say this is a big shape, so let's add medium details, okay? So I will add blend and I will connect my, my base shape here and then I will add dirt, for example, dirt two, or let's start with fractal sum. Fractal sum, as you can see here, it's give me some noisy and if I connected, with this and it change it here to multiply and let's make capacity it's with a lower number you can see here this better than this right so we add a little bit details but let's add another details so we, if we're done with this, I will press now another plane and uh, now I will add dirt too. But at this time, I will change my plane to subtract. I want to subtract my this dots noise to make some holes in, in my chip. So if we change the opacity now, as you can see, you can get some um, holes, okay? So that's either or we can add another plane too. And at this time I will add dirt too, but I will change here, randomize seed, okay? And maybe make scale two and connect it. But at this time I will add multiply and make the opacity 0 0.5 to make some dots like this. If we see the difference here, now it's better, right? Okay, so now we're done with the medium details. Okay, so let's add mid details. Right? So in my base shape, if I want to change these edges to some cracks, you can please pay attention here. I will, I will press here in my base shape and I will add something is called slope blur, okay? And you will know what is the slope blur's meaning later, okay? And then I will, add cloud two okay so if i connected slope blur with cloud and change the mode to min and then decrease this intensity you can find some cracks is happening on the edges right but this happened because we add bevel when we start because if when we add the bevel we add some gray scale here not the sharpness so it's allow slope blur to make this change so if we see this this is, <clears throat> this is not enough or you see it's very hard okay so and you want to decrease the effect you can press on your cloud and then add something is called histogram range and from histogram range you can change from this very brightness to some lower or darker. So now if we, if we look at here, if we pack, you see is a very, is a too much damage, but now we make something look real, right? So this is basically the main idea of Substance Designer. If you done with this and you say, wow, my material is ready now to use, so you can go here easily and right click and publish SPSAR. 
and this when you export it let's export it on the desktop okay and let's see here you can see it's random and random seed it's okay let's see the size of material it's 18k can you believe it and if you open on any 3d software like marmoset so let's open marmoset and i will show how it's work and the magic too for example if you want to change your your base here you can double click on any parameters here for example i want to to change the color random okay so if you go here you can find it's expose okay and from expose i will press expose and then this color random i will say okay and if i press double click here in any empty space you can find here this parameter this parameter will export it to any 3d software and here you, you here is what is the main main value and what is the max value so when you just change this slider you can get some change and let's see the magic so i will export it again okay and let's open marmoset okay so I will start with new material okay and then I will go extra and from here I will select substance open and open my floor material okay and I will drag to my sphere okay so if you looking here there is no ambient occlusion and the ambient occlusion is a very important so you can go here and turn on occlusion okay so the ambient occlusion is ready if you see here the quality is a very low resolution so so if you find here and down you can see the resolution so i will select it 2k 2k okay and now let's make something like two And from displacement, I will select high and subdivision. I will make something like that. Oh, and I will push it. Desolation, it's made. Okay. And here from color randomize, if I make the value is zero. Or let's make one. You can see the difference here. Or I can export this high plane, expose, and I will select high position and re-export my material press ok and then upload it again and now let's add one and here high offset you can change your offset from any 3d software and when you're done with your offset you can select your resolution to 2K or 4K as you want. And let's make 0.5. As you can see here, my material I can control in any 3D software and this SPR file you can import it to Unreal Engine, Unity, 3D Max, Maya, Cinema 4D or any other 3D software. So that's easy to get started with 
substance designer and try to make some deformation here if you go the pattern here you can change from square to disk to something like that spell gushan you can make anything okay or you can select it better our input and then you can drag your own shape you can create your own shape on photoshop you can search on something like polygon one you see it's very easy just make your base shape and then connect it with style similar and then you can go here from scale and connect it like this and let's do something like that and here we go we have different shape so that's the main idea of substance designer i hope you like it and please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and like my facebook page to get more and in the next video i will show you how to make the color easily i hope you like it and see you in the next video see you bye